Well, Mark finishes here 7 1 in the Emirates FA Cup against Stoneham. I mean, what are your first thoughts in 90 minutes? I'm pleased that we got through. It's a banana skin for us. Um, no wins no win situation if we win we didn't win well enough or, but we got through we scored seven goals in front of our fans um, and we're through into the next round. yeah of course I mean yeah the goals I mean especially was you know it makes it look a lot more comfortable than it was but do you feel there was some things that maybe you should have maybe put the game to bed a bit earlier it wasn't more comfortable than it was that's not right we we could have scored ten um, but the keeper was really good um, and I, the only thing that disappointed me was the goal, the goal that they scored um, straight through the middle of our of our back line. We need to address that quickly. Of course, I mean you had to get a goal. You know the keeper was keeping the score level at, for quite a while, and then uh, Jordan Young steps up and does what he does best on the free kick. Yeah, he's in a vein of form now. He's confident. You can see that with his play. He's lively. And uh, but the keeper made some unbelievable saves in the first 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, and that made it more difficult. So, but you just got to keep going. You got to keep playing, and sooner enough, it, it, it will open up for you. Yeah, of course. I mean, you used, used uh, yourself very well in the second half. There, Reese Murphy coming on and uh, bagging three goals. Must be pleased him coming on and making that impact. Definitely, he's been gagging to play, and uh, he's come on and give us a give us a lift. Frank Frank was feeling his knee a little bit, so he's come on and um, and give us an extra spark at the top of the pitch. Uh, just a word on Mike Smith making his debut, made, played in the 90 minutes. I mean, were you happy with how he uh, stepped in? And... I thought he was outstanding. Some of his passes was, some of his passes were brilliant. He played one in the first half through the between the fullback and the centre half to put Jordan Stevens in behind, and um, I think you could just see his experience, calm. I don't think he turned the ball over at all today, and uh, is it, hopefully it's a really good acquisition for him. Yeah, just word on Jordan Stevens managed to get managed to start today and get some uh, some good minutes there. I mean, he looked a bit more fiery today, he looked a bit more into it today. He's very quick, isn't he? You can see his pace. And if you get him, you know, he puts them on the back foot. He gets them back because they're frightened of leaving space in behind, and uh, he'll be better for that game today. And um, yeah, I thought he was good. Yeah, of course. And another week off until we, we go back to league action at Hampton and Richmond. I mean, keeping an eye on the draw. I mean, is there anything you're hoping in the draw? Just to sort of try and get through again. Yeah, it's just a draw that gives us an opportunity to get through. So um, take what we get and uh, and we kick on. Finally, two thousand in the ground today. I mean, for an FA Cup tie, you know you, you tend to get sort of slightly lower attendances, but they still keep coming. Yeah, I was told it would be fifteen hundred yesterday, and with the ticket sales, but for two thousand, over two thousand to turn up, it's uh, it's amazing. And for us to put seven goals in for them as well, and. To stay unbeaten at home is um, is really good and exciting times. Cheers, Mark. Thank you.